for the Commonwealth Games bronze medalist from last year is up against the 2021 World Championship bronze medalist, Jan Yiman. Jan Yiman from China. Well, this is the fourth quarter of the draw. As we can see, section of the draw. We had one player already through well to the second the round. Players. Women single, Yo Jami, Singapore, versus Zhang Yiman, China, part one. So a huge roar from the fans. The winner of this match will, in all probability, play against last week's champion, Anse Young, the number two seed. Uh, but that match has not taken place yet against her teammate. Yo Jamin. Well, this is her fifth appearance here at her home event. Twice been through to the second round. But how dearly she would love to go further than that. But this is a tough round for a match She's for the opening round. Black. And as you can see, well, it is the World Championship bronze black. medalist, Chung Lee Man, who has won their only this previous in. You receive? Sir, you receive. Well, it was four years ago, so the only previous time they played, and it was three games in Kuala Lumpur. Well, Yu Jamin is 24 years of age now. And born here in Singapore, but both her parents come from Malaysia. 163, that's about five foot five. Went up five places on the world ranking published yesterday to 29, uh, but did spend a total of 15 weeks across two different spells at number 16 on the world ranking. The Commonwealth Games last summer lost in the semi final to PV Sindhu and then in the bronze medal playoff match beats Scotland's Kirsty Gilmore in two very tough games. So to Chang Yiman, 26 year old uh, from Hunan, and I believe Hunan means south of Lake, from Ting Lake be precise so she's a little bit taller than her opponents four centimeters taller 17 on the world ranking at the moment one place down from her career high total of three weeks across two different spells at 17. she's also played here at the singapore open previously this is her third appearance at this event uh, but I'll tell you more about her World Championship bronze medal in Welva uh, in December 2021. As we look at our court officials for this, our umpire and our service judge. Ready to play. Chang <laughs> Man won her first World Tour title earlier this year, the Thailand Masters. That was a 300 event. So the higher the number, the higher tier of tournament. So this is a 750. Highest tier on the World Tour is the Super 1000 events. She's still waiting for her first World Tour title, so she was in a final. That was Saarbrücken in 2021, when the Saarbrücken event was a 500 status. And shortly after that, the entire tour went to Bali. And we were all there for five weeks with three events back to back. We all had to do quarantine. Ladies and gentlemen, on the Indonesian on island of Bali. That was a tough gig, Jump. that one. 
Yao Jianyi, Singapore. Yao Jianyi to serve. Lock ball. Play. So the Singaporean, Yu Xiaomin, far side of the court. As we're looking down with the white shirt, and very nice to finally see two players who are wearing significantly different coloured kit, which is the requirement under the rules, competition rules of badminton. That hasn't been the case earlier today. I was a little bit surprised where with you, Jill, when I saw some of the... Because I, whenever I was there, they were so strict, and it yeah. was almost infuriating. If I wore black and my opponent wore blue, they would say it needs to be a significantly different colour, and I saw it yes. appeared some people in the same colour, but yeah. maybe they've been a bit more relaxed with the rule, or...? They shouldn't be. You'd never see two football teams in the same... Uh, or nearly same colour kit. You've got to be able to distinguish. Run. Oh, oh my God. Now, I promised to tell you about this young Three, lady, Zhang Yi Man, her World Championship bronze medal in Welver in December 2021. She won that bronze medal when she was ranked 46 on the world rankings. She was the seventh ranked Chinese women's singles player. She was the first unseeded player from China to medal in the women's singles. And it was her first and only tournament of the year because of the Chinese problems on uh, travel and movement during COVID. It was extraordinary, wasn't it? It was one of the biggest, I think, surprises in women's singles in world championships for a long, long time. Yeah, and I think those, those stats you've just provided you are even more interesting. Are they? Imagine playing one tournament for the year, it's the Worlds, and you get a medal. It's, I mean, it's incredible. Yeah. It's an incredible story. Oof. idea now I think Chris that Yu Xiaomin I think she's so naturally gifted with her shot production I think she's just a delight to watch she's adventurous with her choice of shot she's got all the racket skills but perhaps not the consistency of some of the top players yeah, I would agree. I'd say, you know, to watch her, she's she's a very gifted, creative, like, deceptive. Um, it's just like that shot there, she just pushed it out. But the way she plays it, it's nice. It's nice to watch. But I always think with someone, when you're the best player in your country by, a, you know, a reasonable distance, it does make everything just that bit trickier, I feel, in regard to training. Because... I would struggle to understand who she could train with that's going to really test her, unless she does train with some of the people, then it's, it's a totally different game. Um, could that be one of the reasons why her results are a little bit inconsistent? We've definitely seen in the past she can play at such a high level. I remember the, the Worlds that time, I believe it was. She, was that the one where she beat Yamaguchi in the first round? Yes, that indeed. That incredible result. Um, she she burst onto the scene with that. and She reached the quarterfinal. Which is incredible. I in mean, 2019, first player from Singapore, and a singles player to be in the World Championship quarterfinal. And this is the thing, we've seen she can play at that level, but I would totally agree with you, it's not on a consistent basis. It mm. could be, you know, she has a fantastic match in a tournament, but then maybe loses the next round. And this is the difficult thing, and this is why some of the players are, you know, five, six in the world, because they can consistently perform at that level. Pushed it wide. Oh, that's gone wide. 
Yeah, that was taken considerably with the drift. the short left with the quality net shot. Look at that tight, tumbling net shot. Oh, it was so tight to the net, there's no way she could lift it to the back of the court. Jump, so where to Thank you. So challenge. Oh, goodness, that's way up. What an extraordinary challenge. Five straight points here, Yajan Min. Oh, that's a good spotting Seven, smash, four, though. Eight, ten. against the drift that tends to happen and it is a three-point advantage at the mid-game interval for Singapore's own Yu Jamin look at that look where that shuttle landed That's a good foot if not a 18 inches in front of the front service line. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Kelvin Ho, the Singapore coach in the black tracksuit. Not sure who the other one was. Do you know, Chris? No, I'm not sure. That's a good lift from there. Oh, look at that skill. What a rally. What a rally. Well, there's a challenge now from Yojan. Here we go. Indeed, it was out. So both players with just one challenge left in this opening game.
Uh, the... I'm sorry, yes. 9-11. The line judge, I don't think was... Play. No. Was it the line judge not getting back in position quickly enough, or what was the delay there? I'm not I think sure. It, I think it might have been. Play, uh, play. The umpire said the score wrong, so he wanted to correct ah, himself. Ah, right. Oh, umpire from Serbia. Oh, that's going wide. Yeah. And it just keeps drifting. It's the thing. It, it, I'd call it almost a danger corner because you've got to be so careful there. The drift's just going to keep taking it. You've got to go at least six inches, almost, almost a foot. You've got to play it inside the, inside the line. Otherwise, they're just going to take it out. Oh, that's good control, though, isn't it? From Zhang Yiman. Oh, that's delightful. What a lovely shot. The speed of that rally, speed of movement, speed of shot, speed of thought, terrific. It's good rallying in the end, that's pinpoint precision. To hit that accurately with a drift as strong is very impressive. The clear was quite short, but still. Yeah, it's still, I'm with you, Chris, it was still a great smash. So back level. points to go into the lead. Yeah. We've seen some quality Whoa. rallies here. Five straight points for Changi Man. to stop that run. Oh, that's a good net shot from the Singaporean. so hard with that drift if you have a, anything flat and you hit anything more than 90 percent power unless the shuttle is coming up quite high you're gonna you're gonna push it out the back well that must 16. have been pretty much plumb on the line perfect control there i think it was as you said jill right on the line So now five straight points to Yu Jamin. I think they're trying to outdo the, the men's doubles that we just had for <laughs> crazy runs. Yeah. She was there. I think she hoped the drift was just going to keep taking it and then it just 
thumb on the lion. In a hall like this, I think we'd always have what we'd kind of consider the safe zone and a danger area, and by that, in relation to the drift, um, if you're gonna play cross court with the drift, you've gotta be so careful, it's so dangerous because the, the drift is gonna keep taking it. Whereas if you're going straight and you're almost going in the opposite direction, the drift, it would be the safe zone where the drift's not gonna be able to push the shuttle out, it's only gonna push the shuttle further in. So the run of points ends at six. Well, that has maybe put a different complexion now on this opening game. All the pressure on the Chinese player. Oh, well, didn't she respond well? That's a delightful shot. Lander, wipe the clock, please. 16, 18. Jump, wait for the Lander. It's long, 17, and the lead 18. has been whittled back by Zhang Yiman. This is a big point, so important. Oh, I've challenged that. Oh, she's not challenging. She was very hesitant. I agree, Joe. I think I would have challenged that as well because for me that is the safe zone because the shuttle, the drift, sorry, is bringing that back in because it's straight. Oof. Maybe it was that. I don't know. It's so yeah, hard to tell. Yeah, no, sing it again. I think the line judge made the right call. I think it was wide. It's game point opportunities for the home player, Yo Charmin. It wasn't really behind it. Got to get your feet in position. Opening game to Yo Jamin of Singapore. Umpire just confirms that scoreline, 21-18 in 17 minutes. And when you consider uh, that uh, she had been down at one stage, 12-14 down to win it, 21-17 is remarkably good. Confirmation, 21-18. 17 minutes. Oh, What an excellent opening game. And the home fans here at the Singapore Open absolutely delighted with Yo Min in game number one. And they'll be delighted with that as well. One, Made her opponent move the full diagonal 
of the court twice in that last running. block across court played to absolute perfection look at that magnificent after that one you can see she's frustrated with herself she knows that's the corner the drift has taken it well left now she's got to be cautious she's hitting with the drift now do you remember who won the toss of the coin and who chose ends no okay Chris from now on that's your job okay I've got it <laughs> It's a lovely drop again. Oh, yes. Well worked, Rally. Lovely bit of skill. Six, Hold, three. move their body. Yeah. yeah, that's just extraordinary skill, isn't it? This is what Yo Min has got to do in the second game. She's got to be more aggressive. I don't see, with now she's playing with the drift, that using clears or pushes the way she did in the opening game, I don't think that will be effective. Yeah, I'd agree with you. That's a fantastic shot there. Yeah. But it's going to be yeah, it's harder for her to move the shot around in a calm, composed way to make the core big, whereas if she can, just try and get on this attack. I mean, we've seen how phenomenal her attack can be. This is a short lift again, but fantastic placement the way she cuts it almost to perfection yeah and it's not just the placement it's because she's slicing it it's creating disguise deception the shuttle dies more because at the more the shuttle spins the more air resistance and therefore it slows quicker so that's where you create the angles and in a hall like this when the drift when the shuttle slows the drift almost carries it a fraction more which makes it even harder because then yeah. it's traveling feels like it's traveling further away um, from your opponent. Oh, good body smash. Good variation. We haven't seen many of those. In fact, that may be the first. 
It is strange how many runs we've seen. We haven't seen that many single... Oh, my goodness. Did you see that? Extraordinary. Caught the net and just died. What even happened there? Just... Just... Yeah. Caused Fortune. a vicious yeah. spin. So they all count. That's gone long. And again, is this a four or five point run? It's just there's so many runs. It's not a single point yeah. that's one and then a point and a point. It's kind of uh, four, five or six in a row. Yeah, well, this is five. Five straight points now. Six straight points. Once again, it was a sort of sway the body one way on the return of serve, hit the shuttle the other. Yeah, it's good deception though, and very clinical. shot otherwise it's going to be punished and in trying to play very tight to the net a couple of errors in Chang Yiman oh yes that's beautiful control wonderful Controlling the point and Yo Jamin has the advantage, a two point advantage here in the second game at the mid game interval, having already won the first. My goodness me, she's playing well. well when you consider she was 3 7 down in this second game. Eight of the last ten points. Court one, twenty seconds. Court one, twenty seconds. Court championship. Chase. Inside the line. Perfect attack again. This is the thing, if she continues this style, if she keeps playing as aggressive as this, could could it be the first two-game match? Well, I'm thinking about my cup of tea tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Great control once more. Ten of the last 12 points now to your Jamin. This is incredible run, incredible. The momentum she's now got. And the crowd of her as well. That's in as well. This is absolutely extraordinary. 
another run of five straight points. Twelve of the last 14 points. Oh dear, that's a, not the best way for that run to come to an end. Court smash, Chung Yim in. She's, had, that's a, clever. she's had a lot of success on that cross court there, where it's just literally just feels like it's traveling further away, and it's it's proved to be such a good shot in the second Seven. game. Yeah. Can Yao Ji Min just keep this up? Be an incredible win for her. Yeah, it certainly would. Oh, a good return. I think she must have changed her mind there, Chang Yi Man didn't seem to stay with the shot. Almost as if she pulled her racket away. That's well left, that's well long. to give it this part of the game. Which gives Yao Ji that extra, that extra belief. Three points away. For Ooh, I think that was sneaking be, out, yeah. I think that may be going out. That's gone wide. Two points away from for a third time reaching the second round of our home event, Yo Jamin. <laughs> One point required. Cheered on by the home fans here at the Singapore Indoor Arena. Crowds loving this. Could be the first win for, for Singapore in the tournament. Oh, it's going long. Still another six match point opportunities. Look at the pace of this. Just done. Yo Charmin has beaten the higher ranked Changi Man in two straight games 21 18, 21 14. 33 minutes for her victory. And coming from 3 7 down in the second game with a remarkable run. At one stage, 112 for 14 points played. Well, I said she was skillful, had all the, the shots in her repertoire. Beautiful mover. And today proved that she can hold her nerve when under pressure too. Twenty-one, eighteen, twenty, fourteen, and 
she's through to play the kindergarten or Anse Young, who's been in so much form this year. But safely through to the second round. Up next, we've got many symbols. finish off today's play. Next up is Brian Yang, the reigning and two-time Pan-American champion.